Okay, it is Sunday and it's a pretty crappy day outside. It's raining and drizzling just enough where we can't do anything outside. Uh, let me get out here real quick. There's our greenhouse. The first one frame up with some sandbags. And so we were wanting to get at least one greenhouse up this weekend, but weather is not permitting. So instead, what we've been doing, and Andrea has been doing most of this because she had a system that she was going. This is all of the garlic, the elephant garlic that we harvested this year, minus the corms. So these are the actual cloves themselves. So if I open this one up, for instance, there's a hundred uh, garlic cloves in here. Andrea classified these as medium, so they're about that size. So I mean, it can focus correctly. Come on, focus, focus. There we go. And so every single one of these are labeled Andre did them as small, medium, and large. There were some damaged ones, and there were some that were, um, they got some mold on them. And so the, if we were to sell it, we couldn't sell those, but we're just planting them back in the ground. And uh, before we plant these in the ground, Andre wants to uh, sanitize them anyway. We'll get into that when we get to that point. But, uh, oh, Andre wanted me to do a little video of how much garlic we ended up with. Uh, she is right now getting the numbers of what we started with. So hold on and let me see if she's ready with that. Okay, here's Andre's little cheat sheet there. <laughs> and so, um, so how many cloves did we start out with at the beginning of the season? 436. 436. And we planted these. We had, normally you plant garlic in the fall, but uh, we didn't get the harebrained idea to even do this until uh, January. like January. So uh, my aunt gave me 436 cloves that we planted into the ground. And so that's what we started out with. And so minus the corms, how many did we end up with? 1846. 1846. So we more than quadrupled uh, our cloves. So my... Goal as of right now is to plant 6,000 cloves in the ground per year. I mean, obviously we have to ramp up to that, but going from a little over to 400 to a little over 1,800, you know, that's a pretty good step. And from that, we also got that. And so also, Andre wanted me to say we planted a bunch of corms in the ground but we don't know if they ever actually did anything we haven't harvested them yet yeah so but that's kind of iffy but we ended up out of the 436 cloves we ended up with just shy of 1200 corms uh, which was 1178 so that was how many corms we ended up with and then if we can do something with those corms you know, we're sitting at 18 and 12. Uh, 3,026 total. Yeah, just about 3,000. And so even without the corms, you know, 1,800 is nothing to laugh at. No. Okay. And so, okay, what I wanted to do is Andrea has these labeled in their her little subgroups. So, okay, go ahead. These are larges, and they're 100 per bag. Okay. No, it's, this one's 35. Um, there's... So both of these are larges? These are both larges. Okay. This one's 35. So okay. So it's 535. Okay. These are mediums. Um, 
so it's 350. Okay. And then, oh, that's a medium too. Did you get your mediums wrong? No, I had two packs of mediums. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so about seven to eight hundred. Seven eighty-five, and then I have four hundred smalls, five damage, forty-three corms, and twenty-three smalls. Now those forty-three corms, those were the corms that were still pretty much attached to the bulb. And so when we harvested, we did not get those corms, even though they were there because they were pretty deep inside of the bulb. And so uh, we had over 1,100 of them that we could just pop right off, but there were 43 of them that were still pretty much attached to the clothes or to the bulbs. And then we also, Andre had been doing a lot of research with elephant garlic. And so she found a farm that specializes in garlic and it's called King's Garlic. Mm -hmm. And so we ordered how many pounds? 10 pounds. We ordered 10 pounds of their elephant garlic. And so that's right here. Yeah. So how many, how many cloves did we end up with that? Total 200. So we had 200 cloves. And then Andrea wanted to try another garlic. What was that garlic called? Parisian Star. Parisian star. So that's a regular type of specialty garlic. And then she also wanted to grow some what they call green, green garlic. Green garlic. And so those you pretty much you plant this whole thing and then you harvest it like a bunching onions. Yeah. So when it uh, pops up and it looks like an onion, then you harvest it. And so uh, you pretty much treat it like a green onion at that point. And so the total of all this is going to be around 2,000 uh, cloves. And then my aunt said that she was going to send some more. So um, she said it wasn't going to be as much as last year, but she just wanted to send some. So we said, okay. And so when that gets here, we'll put that in the mix. Now, the reason everything's in the bag other than being organized is the garlic has to be chilled. Well, we want to make sure it has the proper chill hours with our temperatures. And so uh, if you're in a cooler climate, what you do is that you just chuck it in the ground uh, a few weeks before first frost. And it's cold enough by nature that it gets all of its chill hours. We don't, theoretically, we could have enough chill hours if we did it throughout the entire winter, but we don't know. So that was the reason why we bought our big refrigerator, which let me show you that real quick. This is our 17 cubic foot. Uh, it's a convertible refrigerator freezer. And that means that it can either be a refrigerator or a freezer at one time. And so when you open it up, it's all one surface. And so right now it's in refrigerator mode. But we can also uh, hit a button and it can go into freezer mode. And so in order to get the chill hours, we're going to chuck all of the garlic into here. The corms that we had are right here. And these have honestly been in there a while. I think we were supposed to get them out around the beginning of August or something, and uh, it just never materialized. And so they're still in there. So that's next on the list after we get the greenhouses done, is we're going to get the corms uh, planted. And we, Andre has a very specific way she wants to do it. So anyway... Next up is I'm going to get all the garlic in here or in that refrigerator. So hold on and let me see if I can do that real quick. Okay. And here we go. So I had to rearrange some stuff a little bit, but all the garlic is in here. And I did not need to use the crisper down at the bottom. So that's good. So the garlic 
we estimate will probably need to be in here for about a month and then uh, then we can take it out and get the prep work so we can start planting and we get the side benefit of our table gets to be a little bit cleaner uh, this is the last of our uh, spaghetti squash uh, the two small ones uh, at least on the left there are destined for the sisters so but that's it for the garlic and oh I wanted to show real quick that's what the uh, garlic came from I uh, was the from Keens it was just in a open uh, plastic mesh bag so I know it says onions in there. They do onions too. So anyway, um, I think that's it. And so now we have about a month until the garlic will be ready, which means we have to, I have to go out and actually start getting everything ready. I'm showing Sherlock out here because he's being like a royal pain. So he was annoying us on the inside, then he went outside and immediately started barking, so go figure. Just like that. So I'm going to see what he's barking at, and um, then hopefully we might be able to finish these greenhouses.